back to my channel beautiful minutia if you're new here my name is tiffany and today i am talking about my november tbr right now i'm in the process of cleaning out my home library and my shelves are a mess so we're filming outside so i don't have to look at it and neither do you there's a couple of different events going on in november that i'm participating in and i'm super excited to participate in that i'm going to share my tbr with you and then i have some buddy reads and then just some other miscellaneous things as well. So the first event that I'm going to be participating in in November is Nonfiction November, of course. I love Nonfiction November. The first book that I'm definitely going to be reading throughout the entirety of the month is Joy in Christ's Presence by Charles Spurgeon. We're actually doing a read-along for this where we have a schedule of so many chapters per week and we're going to get together once a week on YouTube and discuss it, but I also have discussions on my Discord channel as well. So I'll link the announcement video so that way you can find that if you'd like to participate with us. I absolutely love Charles Spurgeon and I'm so excited to dive into this book with all of you who are participating but most especially Dia who's returning as a co-host to host this with me and then also Chrissy from Chrissy's Purple Library. So excited to be able to do these discussions with both of these ladies. In addition, I'm also going to be reading Grandma Gatewood's Walk with my friend Sandy from Miss Reads A Lot, and that's going to be very fun. One of my in real life friends, Whitney Drew, who also has a booktube channel. This is one of her favorite books of the year so far, and she lent it to me, and I haven't had a chance to read it yet, so I'm so excited to read it for nonfiction November, and to be reading it with Sandy is gonna be wonderful. Sandy loves to hike, and Grandma Gatewood's Walk is about an older lady who hiked the Appalachian Trail and Sandy and I, I guess it was, was it last year or the year before? I can't remember that we read A Walk in the Woods together by Bill Bryson, which is also about the Appalachian Trail. So I'm very excited to be reading this in general, but especially excited to be reading it with Sandy. The last book I would love to read for a nonfiction November is The Memoirs of Lady Hag Young, which I did start this summer. This is a memoir about a woman living in the royal courts in Korea in I think like the 1600s or 1700s. There's some court intrigue, there's some murder, there's some family tensions. From what I understand, there's a decent amount of drama. So, so interested in reading this one. I read the introduction and really kind of struggled with that a little bit because it was historically dry, but I felt like I needed the context. And I did mostly finish that, but then just was so not into it and had so many other commitments this summer that I ended up not actually starting the actual memoirs. So I'd like to at least start the memoirs in November. The other event that I am participating in and actually co-hosting in the month of November is Writing Project Gutenberg, which we did last November. And this is basically just a celebration of the free resource that is Project Gutenberg. I'll link my announcement video in case you wanna see that. If you're reading anything from Project Gutenberg, you're participating. We've also included LibriVox this year as well, but we ended up deciding to kind of go for a Russian theme. We wanted to read a Russian classic together. So the book that ended up winning the poll for that was Poor Folk by Dostoevsky, which I've not yet read. So I'm really excited to read that. So that is my main read for reading Project Gutenberg. I have a couple other books on my Kindle that are just kind of like, we'll see if I get to them, but I do have that one for sure. I'm definitely reading that one. We're going to be having some reading sprints. We're going to be having a final discussion as well as there being a channel of discussion on my Discord too. So make sure you click over to that announcement video if any of that sounds interesting to you. I have some other buddy reads as of course I always do. The big chunk that I'm going to be reading in November which I really doubt that I'll finish in November because I've never been able to finish any of the books in the series within the course of one month. Is Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. This is book four in the Stormlight Archive, which is currently the last book that is out, but I think book five comes out next year. So I'm reading this with my friend Whitney Drew. We've been reading through the Stormlight Archive this year with taking some breaks to read some novellas and other books that are recommended to sprinkle throughout reading the Stormlight Archive, but it took me a while to get through Oathbringer and Words of Radiance, so I'm anticipating this one trickling over into December, but who knows? I guess we'll see. I'm also really excited to be reading, I think it's book five of the Myrtle Hardcastle series, which is not quite out yet. It comes out October 26th, so I'm filming this video before it comes out, but I already have it on pre-order. I think it's called Myrtle Means an Opportunity, I think. I really love this series. It's about a young girl in the Victorian period who has an unhealthy obsession with poison and murder. And so she solves murders and mysteries and she's so much fun. She's very precocious, very funny 
So if it kind of gives me Flavia de Luce vibes. So if you liked the sweetness at the bottom of the pie, you would probably love the Myrtle Hardcastle series. I'm reading this with my friends Rainy at Rainy Day Reads and then Jess who has a bookstagram channel called Dear Readers, This is Jess and she's phenomenal. I've read all the other Myrtle Hardcastle books with these ladies. So I'm so excited to read the new one with them. And the last buddy read that I have going on in the month of November is actually for my in-person book club. And we are going to be reading, I think it's called The Hundred Foot Journey. So we were looking for cozy vibes for this November. We wanted something that felt cozy and it's kind of fun because this feels very foody as well. I've actually never heard of it, but Whitney is in my in-person book club and she and her daughter love this movie and she's wanted to read the book. So she recommended it and it sounded so good to all of us. I think it is about these, this Indian family who ends up immigrating to France and they open a restaurant right across the street from this fancy French restaurant. So there's lots of foody elements to it, which just feels so perfect for November because you know it's Thanksgiving so something cozy something foodie just sounds incredible so I'm really looking forward to reading this one and the last books that are on my list are part of my reader read project which I am doing abysmally at in case you're wondering I counted up today how many of those I've read I read seven out of the 24 books that I have chosen and if you're unfamiliar with that project I'll go ahead and link the video in case you're interested in seeing all the books that were on that TBR but basically it was an annual TBR where I picked 24 books that have been sitting on my shelf for too long or that I wasn't interested in reading and wondered why I had picked them up and I had until the end of the year to read them or get rid of them. So it looks like there's quite a few of them that I'm going to be getting rid of. But the two that I have on my docket for November, I use the Buzzwordathon and the Read Your Bookshelf Challenge to kind of help me figure that out. So the Buzzwordathon is through Books and Lala and the Read Your Bookshelf Challenge is from Chantel Reads All Day. So the word for the Buzzwordathon was good for the month of November so I decided for that one I'm going to read Goodbye Mr. Chips which is a book that I've had on my shelf for a really long time but as I've been talking about it I've actually heard quite a few people recently say that they absolutely love it and it's really heartwarming so maybe I'll actually really love it. There's been a couple of Reader Read Project books that have been five stars and have just shocked me <laughs> and then most of them have been either kind of like meh or I haven't read them yet. So the other prompt from the Read Your Bookshelf Challenge, it kind of builds on the previous month's prompt. So the prompt is that it needs to be set in a different time period than the book that I read in October. The book that I read in the month of October is Dear Martin, which is set in present day. So I chose Yellow Crocus, which is a historical fiction that is set I think during the Civil War period, but I'm, I think it might also have some reconstruction era elements to it as well. I went in in a giveaway like two years ago, so I'm a little hazy on the details about what it's about, but I think it is about this white girl who has a slave wet nurse and like their bond over the years throughout the course of slavery and then I think maybe she gets freed and so it's continuing their bond but I'm not totally sure on that. So those are the books that I'm definitely planning on reading in the month of November. I have some other things that may crop up here and there. There's some series I'm working my way through that there may be other books sprinkled in there. I love to read some more books on my Read a Read project or at least to give them a try to see if they're ones that maybe I would like to continue with. But these are the more concrete plans during this month. So I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What are you reading in the month of November? Are you participating in any fun readathons? I know that obviously nonfiction November, Rating Project Gutenberg, I think Historathon is in the month of November as well. So if you're a historical fiction fan, that's coming up as well. There's just so many different things that are happening in the month of November. And I feel like November for me is the coziest of the fall months because it's getting even chillier. And I love November. I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving might be my my favorite holiday. I really love Christmas and always have, but I think that I might like Thanksgiving even a little bit better. So I would love to hear from you what you're reading. What are you most excited about reading in the month of November? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like and also subscribe so you can continue to see more bookish content from me and I will see you again next time.